Hi everybody, it's Dino with One Tom Plumber back with another video, DIY hacks for your home. Have you ever thought of this kitchen sink spray? It's probably the greatest modern invention since fire, the wheel, Reese's peanut butter cups, whatever you can think of. Make sure you include the toilet. But don't you hate when these things go wonky on you and they start spraying water everywhere? There's a reason for it. I'm going to tell you what it is and I'm also going to show you how to handle it. In case you're wondering, those aren't my hands holding the sink sprayer, but I'm not judging. All right, so what you have here is, this one's pretty clean actually because we use a water softener in our home that keeps hard minerals and calcium deposits from forming inside this area here, inside the holes where the water comes out. And that's what causes the sprain to go all over the place and to clog up your sink sprayer. So what we're going to do is a really nice natural remedy for unclogging those holes and then clearing out any remaining debris. Step one, prepare all the items you need to clean out the sink sprayer. Here are the items you need. Definitely you need white vinegar. That's the most important element in all of this. Second thing you're going to need is a bowl. Now, this will work with a modern sink sprayer that screws off. If not, you'll need a different method, and we can do that in another video. Step two, just open your vinegar, pour some in the bowl, enough to cover what you think is going to be needed for the sink sprayer. Step three, all you want to do now is remove the sink sprayer, the spout end of your faucet, and it's connected to a cable here. All you got to do is pull down a little bit and manually unscrew counterclockwise. Step four, just place the sink sprayer into the white vinegar, and you want to make sure it's completely covering up all the holes. So I need to pour a little bit more in here. I'm just going to pour a little bit more. It'll also go into the back end here and clean that out. So it'll clean from the holes all the way to the back end. Now, wait one and a half hours before you do anything else. Step five, you've waited an hour and a half. Now all you have to do is remove it. Check to make sure any mineral deposits are gone or if there is any still debris left, take a toothpick and you're just going to gently put the toothpick into each of these holes and kind of move it around a little bit to dislodge them. You're next going to place this back on, just screw it back on as such. And there's one more important step to make. I'll tell you as soon as this is done. Now all you do is run some warm water through it. Make sure you wash it off. Get your sink sprayer going, not just the regular faucet. And make sure it's running through all the holes. There's actually an alternative to doing this using a plastic bag. Let's say, for whatever reason, you don't have a bowl around the house and you just want to leave. Um, you can put white vinegar in this plastic bag and wrap it around your sink sprayer and then take some string and just tie the string around the paper bag tight enough so that it holds for about an hour and a half. Then all you do is undo it, remove the bag, pour out the vinegar. Thanks everybody for watching another DIY hack video from One Tom Plumber. I hope you're enjoying these. Making sure your sink sprayer is clean using a natural remedy like white vinegar is going to make it last a whole lot longer. It's going to be less harsh on you, less harsh on your sink sprayer. Thanks again. Follow us next week. We'll have another video for you.